that. I'm not that techie. I'm zero <laughs> uh, Welcome, zero everyone. Techie. Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> this, is, this is Araceli and Collect from ACDC. And today we have a very exciting uh, episode. So my name is Araceli, and I'm a, trans, a, a transition financial specialist, and I help single professional women rearrange their finances so they can get most out of what they have and retire early, pay their debt sooner. So, Colette, can you tell us who you are? Good morning, everybody. Well, whenever you're watching it, good afternoon or good evening. Uh, my name is Colette Raba. I am a residential real estate broker in the GTA. Araceli, you look very cute today. I was Thank just going to say that. I don't know what's going on with you, but you yeah, look so okay. cute. Um, yeah, so so we like to do this uh, this little video because we want to share our knowledge and information with you guys, and uh, whatever you can learn from us and our mistakes, <laughs> and yeah. our and the good stuff too. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, we're always here for you uh, to answer any questions. If you have any, uh, even even you know crazy questions we're totally we're, we're with you we really like to help other absolutely. people absolutely well so some of the things ahead. that a lot of people ask us as well what about the projects that you've worked on and so uh we prepared something today so to show you some of the things that we've done so i want you to show us your hands uh, even though i haven't done a reno recently yeah. Look you know, my hands. We, we have, oh, see, your nails are nice. Yeah. I, I can never, my nails are rough and my hands are rough. I'm always, actually, they're not dirty for once, yeah. but I do have a cut and, you know, like we But are, I work on my projects too. I work on my yes. projects too, so. Yeah, we're both very hands-on, so we uh, know tools. We know, you know, how to do certain things, which I really <laughs> don't want to know sometimes. Sometimes, but. yeah, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, there is a time to hire professionals for sure. Well, there is always a time. It will save you a ton of time for sure. I tell you that uh, drywalling is not my thing. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, me too. No, I would so never. Difficult. It is so, I didn't realize how difficult it is because you got to align everything and then the, uh, the sanding. Oh my yeah. goodness. Even I couldn't get it right. I have a big, I have a big patch job right now in my, uh, I don't know if you remember, I, I was, I don't know if I ever mentioned it on the show, but I had a, I had a, I have water problems. I don't know. Some psychic told me once uh, about a couple of years ago, she said, or last year, she said, you have water problems, don't you? And I'm like, okay. yes, I, uh, yes, I do. But anyway, so what happened was I have, a, I had a leak upstairs. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm taking away from our time, but uh, basically what happened was there is a leak upstairs in my bed in my bathroom I knew it was coming from my bathroom but it wasn't from the hot and cold tap it was from the drain so I had to open up my walls to see if I could see where that problem was and I actually didn't end up finding the problem but I snaked the drain and the problem is gone Anyway, so now I have all these holes in my closet that I have to patch okay. and stupidly I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's no big deal, but oh my gosh. It's, it's hard. Big... Yeah, it is a big deal. <laughs> yeah. So before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that as real estate investors, if you decide to become one or if you are one, you will see what we see in this type of houses. Right. Like when you see it, you'll never believe how it looks like. You might, you might, you will may want to run away from it. Right. But you gotta be able to see past that and see what the end result would be because right. it is. Right. If you're oh, able yeah. to do that, you become a real, a really good real estate investor. So. Well, even for I was working with a, actually currently working with the buyers right now, and we looked at a house that was built, I believe, in the I want to say in the '90s. Yeah. Uh, or maybe even in the late eighties, but this house, the bones are really, yeah. really good. I would have bought it like that, but because they really don't have that kind of knowledge and background, they were terrified. They're like, it's way too much for us. Yeah. yeah. I said, I absolutely understand that. I agree with you because it's something that you want to live through renovations. I would never recommend doing that. Never, mm -hmm. never, never. If it's a paint job. Okay. Fine. You can live through that. Everything other than that, Please, if there's much, a yeah. way, yeah. there's a way that you can do it. Either you know, stay in your current house for a month, get those bigger renos done. Please do it. It will save you so much heartache. It will save you so much. Even if you're not doing the 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 reno yourself, just to work through, it's like just, to yeah, live through reno, yeah. 
it, especially when you have kids too, they have two kids. I would never recommend it. It's just the drywall dust and the noise and the water shut off and yep. like all these things, you don't know when the contractor is going to do it or when you want to do it. Yeah. And if you run into problems, you have nowhere to run. <laughs> That's it. You're in. You can run to a hotel. Sure. Right. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to get started. I know that yeah. you've been waiting for this. So let me get, let me show you some of the projects that I've worked in. Uh, yeah, so all of these, I, we, all we of these things it. are in uh, in the state of Ohio. So all of these houses. So let me. Yeah. So me. so we've compiled our own uh, before and afters because yes. we know how much people love before and afters and what we've actually yeah. gone through. So Araceli, I I want you to just talk about what we're looking at while you're showing us the pictures. Yeah. Uh, so this is actually an attic, which is it was converted into a bedroom. As you can see, there's a ton of. I don't know if they punched the wall. There is um, the graffiti. Yeah, wow. The graffiti. Who was there before? I got no idea. And you see, they just covered this here because I guess there was a big hole in there. Uh, okay. The windows were replaced as well in here. Terrible, terrible um, floor. Oh, yeah. uh, even asbestos. You think that's asbestos tile? Uh, no. Okay, uh, the other thing too is when, when we talk about stuff too, like if you have any questions about is this asbestos or what do you think this is, please make comments and, and we'll answer them because mm -hmm. when, when you see something like this, Araceli and I are not scared of a project like that. This mm -hmm. is totally, I, I'm, I'm jazzed when I see this. Because yeah, this is know. actually very normal. What I see, this is just not a problem at all, right? Because yeah, you might see some really cool graffiti too, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so here it is. Uh, so this is how it ends up looking like. Beautiful. Is it carpet? That's carpet, yes. It's beautiful. But see, so simple. And it's really, you know, with patching, that was the probably the biggest job in that room, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And you replace the windows? Yep, we replace the windows in here. Beautiful. So, uh, yeah. so if you can see, like, from... What you see it, you gotta be able to so to see the result, the end result, right? Right, right. Now take a look at this. Oh my god, this was actually highway empty. It's you couldn't no even big get deal. in. You couldn't even get into this basement, right? Oh, because there's stuff. There's a ton of stuff. Uh, there was this wall built into in the middle that we took out. It it, it was just terrible. Very very dingy. So we yeah. took all the stuff out and uh, the basement now looks like this. Amazing, amazing. And people can re really see the space that it's clean and it's dry. And I think yeah. that's the ultimate thing when you're looking at basements, we don't wanna see the clutter. We don't wanna see the weird stuff that people put in and walls and things like that. That's right. You always wanna have basements open as much as possible. Yeah. And um, I right. always paint my, paint, paint my basements uh, white. Uh, they reflect a lot, of, a lot of light if you have uh, windows, little windows. Absolutely. Um, and they look bigger, they look cleaner. Yeah. And as you can see from, it's from day and night that what this is. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Look like. So this is another, uh, this is actually the kitchen on the same house. Kitchens and bathrooms are my favorite. Right? I know because you oh can see a total this different total transformation. Yeah. In here we took the entire uh, kitchen out, all the okay. cabinets. Uh, yeah. We replaced this window as well. Uh, you see how appliances appliances make such a huge difference. Um, I, I just uh, we just um, I put somebody in a lease. And there were new appliances and it was such a huge selling feature that Absolutely. there's new appliances. Like, I can't tell you if you're going to do anything, if you're going to do not even any reno, but before you list your house, if you need to swap out your appliances, put stainless steel, they're still way nice. I'm sorry. Yeah. They're still, they still bring that kind of level of uh, newness and niceness and, and yeah. that elevation to a space, uh, you know, and it's a really cheap fix too. Yeah. And it doesn't take a, a lot, so you take a look at the difference Let's after see. it's finished. Ah, oh, amazing, amazing. So and look, there isn't even an appliance in there. Well, no, yeah, the, we're the, missing the uh, the, the, stove. the stove, but yeah, the, but the uh, microwave is already there. Beautiful. Uh, the washer is there, and yeah. you can see it's very clean. Um, 
uh, we changed, we put tile uh, on the floor. Uh, this is a new window, this is a new window too. Oh, uh, so all of these things uh, make a big difference. And you see, we try to use, in most of our renos, uh, white cabinets. Uh, right. They're really clean. Okay, and was this a, a sale or was this a... This was a flip, yeah, so... Okay, okay. So that makes a difference too. I find that sometimes, and depends on the air. So this is the thing that I always tell my clients, if you are going to use it as a rental, mm -hmm. uh, I, it depends on, depends on where the house is. Don't over-improve. So probably, and you have to know what your competition is too. So in this area that you were doing this flip, yeah. if nobody else was high end finishes and, you know, granite countertops, don't do it. Don't put it in. So something like this, it's not, you know, I know it's not a granite countertop, but something like that where you're going to over improve and you're never going to get that money back. That's right. So all of these, the ones that I'm showing you right now, uh, they were flips. So that means that it's for resale. Uh, so it's not for rental. So there's a little Budget. bit higher end, uh, higher end finishes. Right. But uh, when you, before you start, you have a budget and you have to. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That. You got to know what you, what is what you tend to do. Because right. if this was a rental, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have gone uh, this far. I would have done it uh, with the, the cheaper materials. Right. Still, you need to find something that is durable, but the materials that you select, they can be a little bit. Uh, less expensive. So. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. Okay, so this is the bathroom on the same house. Uh, so as you can see, it's a little dingy. Who puts terrible. a lamp on top of the toilet? I don't know what this is. <laughs> and I don't know if you see it, but this electrical uh, outlet was in terrible condition. We almost kind of pulled it out. It was bad. And you can't have, well, no, it's a, it's a GFIC, so it's okay. But uh, this is okay, but it, I don't think it was hooked up right. Right. Um, so anyway, so we did a complete run on this. So we actually had to gut everything. And I don't have the, like, in between pictures, but I have the end result, right? Incredible. Yeah. So as cool. you can see, like, it makes such a huge difference. And this is yeah. actually a small bathroom. As you can yeah. see how close the toilet is from but it, the sink. Yeah, but see that the, the cabinet is set back. You purposely got a cabinet that wasn't deep. Yeah. Actually fit in a bigger cabinet. You could have done a, a, a just a pedestal sink, but yep. people like cabinets and bathrooms. So I understand why you did that. Yeah. But I love it. And you know what? There's something that we have in common, you and I, <laughs> with our renos. It's called neutral. Neutral. Yes. neutral. So everything I've seen so far, white everything cabinetry, light gray. Yeah, that's yes. huge. When you want to resell or, but go ahead, finish, and then I'll, I'll show you my pictures too. So, yeah, so everything that uh, we do, we do it in neutral colors because especially that you're going to be appealing to buyers, they need to see themselves in the house, and a neutral right. color is best. Yeah, uh, and if they want to add colors, it's easy for them to change the color than uh, you have like a green or a red or anything Absolutely. like that. It's very difficult to do that, right? Yeah. But if you have a neutral color that is very light, you can always uh, make it uh, match with other colors that you want. Of course, so. and people can use, bring in color with their artwork or their cushions or their, their soft furnishing. Correct. So. I'm never terribly, or even staging, you know, I always tell my yeah. stage, bring in color uh, because you, you, we really don't want it to be overwhelming. And so this yeah. is the funny thing too, either if you're going to sell it or you're going to rent it, white looks amazing in pictures. So if you pick up any magazine, mm -hmm. I can guarantee you the most of the, the houses that are highlighted are white background, white walls, whatever shade of white, maybe a little light gray, that is just the way of the world right now where we need, there's so much, I, I believe this, there's so much chaos in the outside world going on, especially with COVID now, but we need this calming space in our own homes. So when we neutralize everything, have the rooms flow from room to room, mm -hmm. it really makes a big difference, I think, with our just, our, our you know, mental oh, yeah. peace, right? Absolutely. So let me look at this. Oh, this I love this kitchen. This is oh my, my favorite. God. I, tell me, there's a, a few things here that when I saw it, it says, so there's wallpaper here that is like a flowery. 
Yeah. And you have here uh, the uh, the backsplash. I think it's is it linoleum? I think it's linole linoleum, right? <laughs> and if you can see here, it's carpet. Yeah. Carpet. And it's dingy, dingy, dingy. Yeah, I know. Like low ceiling, dingy, like everything. Like who wants to wash dishes with a cabinet? Like you're gonna absolutely. And this yeah. one here, we actually have to do a quite a bit of reno because what happens is that when you look at this, I don't know if you can see the corner here, but there is the, the stove. stove. Yeah, yeah, the stove is on the other side. And the fridge is what, behind? It, the fridge is behind. So all of this is, it, this layout is Copy. Really not, it's not practical anymore, right? No, no, it looks like a second, second thought even. Yeah, so it, uh, my, uh, my construction crew, it, it's fantastic. When I said to the guys as well, can we do something about this? This is terrible, right? Yeah. And it says, no problem. I'm going to move the stove here. I'm going to move the uh, uh, the sink on this side be, be, below the uh, the window. And I said, okay. Yeah, <laughs> you know, this was actually lower than the counter. Yeah. The first house that I worked with this construction crew, I says, oh my God, what is going to be my bill? You right. know, like they're moving all of these things. And what was the basement like? Uh, the basement wasn't that bad. It was full but of stuff, right? Finished or not finished? Uh, uh, not finished. Okay, see, that makes a big difference yeah. with the reno because it's everybody, easier. the plumbing, you can see the, the plumbing, joint. Yes, that's like, correct. if you've never seen that. So that's something when I walk through home buyers, yeah. do, and I'm sure if you walk through your investors with that, yeah. you can say, listen, you know, the joists are running this way. The plumbing can be moved, da, da, da. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes if it gets way expensive and the joists are running the wrong way and you have to cut through the joists to change yeah. plumbing, I always suggest That's, not touch the plumbing. Yeah. But, but take anyway, a look at, I want to see the after. The after. The after. Oh my God. That's incredible. Yeah. Can you believe that? Do you that? have to make a see, smaller see window? Again. How did you do the window? Uh, we made a smaller window, yeah. Wow. We had to replace the window anyway. So, uh, and as I said, my construction crew is fantastic. The, phenomenal. Those are, oh my God. It's did phenomenal. You, uh, and this is a flip, and you can see there is a granite countertop in here. Beautiful. Uh, so this wow. area is a little bit higher end. Uh, when we walk into this kitchen, actually, we had, within two weeks, we went there, we took some pictures and came back, and everything was gutted. There was, like, nothing there. Wow. And then we came back the two weeks after, and we walk into this kitchen. I was like, like, okay, we're not selling this house. We're moving into this house, right? Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. Did that, were the floors under that carpet? Uh, the, what do you mean, the floors? Did you oh, have to do the, the wooden floors in the living room? Did you have to? Put yeah, we took, we took everything out. It, it was, uh, there was no floor in the kitchen. No, no, no. In the living room, the, the wood floor was that? Oh, yeah, it was under the carpet. Oh, you, you lucked out. Oh, yeah. As you can see here. Yeah. So remember the picture before? So yeah, the carpet, carpet went all the way through to the uh, to the front. And now uh, we took the carpet out and these uh, beautiful floors underneath, right? So beautiful. obviously for the kitchen, we put tile. Yeah. Uh, we always try to keep the tile. And you changed out the trim in the doorway. That's beautiful too. I really like that nice flat modern trim. Yeah. Yeah, I really like it. Good job. So th this was one of the... Uh, Kind of the best ones that we've done is it, it turned out beautiful because and in the, on the other side well the kitchen with the uh, stove was here um my construction crew built uh kind of like a built-in um like a counter like a, a counter so you can just it's like a bar kind of thing that you can just put a couple of uh, stools and have yeah, your breakfast beautiful. there so it was it would turn out pretty good beautiful uh, so look at this bag you Oh. <laughs> oh wow! So oh, look, my shoulders just went up. I know. <laughs> yeah. So most Is people that carpet? Would... don't tell me that's carpet. No. No, this is just a know. mat. This is just a mat. Okay. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I know. Uh, it has linoleum floor. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So the carpet. It looks like it's it's actually part of the floor, but it's just on top. Yeah, but in this particular. Um, if you can see this part here that is dark. Can you just go to the after? Because I'm, I'm going to barf. <laughs> yeah, what about that part? So this is, uh, I, I actually have a video on this one. So uh, tell us about that black part. What was that, open? That was uh, wallpaper. Oh. 
Yeah. Okay. Wow, look at that. And the same, this is a small bathroom, but as you can see how it's spaced out. Wow. Um, so we buy smaller sinks. Uh, I mean, yeah. the smaller it sinks and toilets. Yeah. So they can have a it's little just bit. just really, like, look at, you're not changing the plumbing. You're not doing anything. Nope. But just to rip out all that crap. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. It's so nice and clean. Like, that's what people want. They just want nice and clean. That's right. right. So we don't reinvent the wheel. We just make it very simple. Okay, uh, so I this have is... to say something. Uh -huh. All these houses that we're showing you, people are actually living like this. It's yes. not like, like they're, these were vacant homes for years. This is lived in. People actually live in these situations, the, this, you know, kind of level of, of home. So right. sorry. So this this actually this uh, lady was living in there when we uh, took over the house. Yeah. So we gave her about a month to get out. Uh, so, but she was living here. Yeah. Like yeah. just people we couldn't we couldn't believe it. it yeah. Right? People people put up with that. Yeah. Exactly. So as you can see, all of these is really dated. Um, Not seventies or yeah, 60s, this, even maybe sixties. Yeah. And just the floor, you can see the linoleum. Right. Yeah. Um, so that was a, uh, I said, no, we're not keeping that. Plus this one had a wall. So you imagine that there's a wall in front of the kitchen, right? Okay. That we took, we took that uh, wall out to From make the it open. The living room? Yeah. Okay. So it's open concept now. So, so you'll see it in the second this. So if you see, there was a wall here that we wow. took out, right? Beautiful. So these are the type of renovations that we do. When Can you we go do back to the before? Yeah. Go to the yeah. Okay, so you left the same layout as far as the sink. Mm -hmm. You didn't move the, the plumbing. Yeah. And the stove was not in this picture, but I get it it's from where the, the window was. Uh, the tenant took the uh, stove the appliances out. Yeah. But we were going to use it anyway, so okay. so we, you yeah. see. The but the layout is good. See, originally that looks so much bigger too. Like there was no dishwasher. Now there's a dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Like it's really incredible. Just and just space. what we did is we took that wall out. So just imagine that where yeah. this uh, yeah, counter yeah, I... is, there was a wall. Uh, so we took that out. We used half of it, and then we built some more cabinets and another um, counter space. Beautiful. Uh, and it, it is open space right to the living room, which it makes it so much bigger. Oh, it's gorgeous. We love this house. This was a bungalow, and uh, we love this house. Uh, yeah. So ended up doing really, really good. But right. the renovations that we do there are like high end. And as you can Beautiful. see, like the layouts see, are- that's the thing. Everybody expects this kind of level because of HGTV and magazines and yeah. everything else that we see. White cabinets, they're not crazy expensive. It's just a very clean look. And yeah. I don't think white cabinets are going out of style anytime soon. And when you have a nice counter, you have a lot of counter space. There are certain things that with clients too, like right. I hear the same things over and over. They want an open concept kitchen. Mm -hmm. They want, you know, so many bathrooms, so many bedrooms, but ultimately they want clean. They like, that is such a huge selling feature that people don't realize that you know, yeah, you can hire somebody to clean, but when I say clean, I mean like clean lines and, yeah. uh, you know, the, the backsplash is white or I love the glass backsplash. It's that feeling of, uh, it, it, even this kitchen, I believe will age well because mm -hmm. of, because it's white, because the appliances are stainless steel. Like in 10 years, when you look at this kitchen again, it will probably still feel very clean yeah. and new if they keep it up, right? If they make That's sure right. that of course. Like, yeah, it's, and beautiful. Love it. Before, after. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> now, I wanted to show you this here because this was a house that we got in and it was almost perfect. There was very little to do. Yeah. But we have an issue. And I wanted, I wanted to tell you what happens when you have a flood. We had a flood in this house for two days. And in you the weren't winter, there. In the winter time. Okay. It was a pipe that froze? Yep. Okay. In let's the see. second floor. So take, take a look. Up. Take a look at how it looks like. 
Wow. Holy smokes. Oh my God. I would freak out. Did you freak uh, out when you saw of that? Of course. Who when told you? Oh gosh. How did so, you catch it? My contractor called me. And what happened? So how did you remediate that? Uh, well, we had to obviously shut down the water. Yeah. Uh, so this is the house. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful house. As I said, we have very little things to do. Just and I see, inside. yeah, I can see it on the side there. Oh no. Yeah, and uh, so when we got there, obviously, he shut down the water immediately, right? Uh, right. That was the first thing. Yeah. So then we had to wait. They had to turn on the um, the furnace. Yeah, heat up. And we turn yeah. it up a little bit higher than normal. Yeah. And also put a, a dehumidifier for a few days. So how much damage was inside? It was uh, quite a bit. We weren't going to replace the kitchen. And we ended up replacing the kitchen because the ceiling actually collapsed. It was on the second floor to the first floor to the basement so talk about water quite, problems my water problems are not that bad as your yeah <laughs> no 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 but i just wanted to show you that sometimes yeah if you're That's an investor definitely. you're gonna run into an issue even though right. you think that there's not going to be a lot of work to be done something will happen and there it is oh my god you know yeah yeah so well that's the thing like anything else once you do it a couple times like you really uh realize that i'm learning from every reno i do from every house absolutely and of course i've made mistakes i'm i'm sure uh i could have done things a little bit better okay. but you know what it's all learning and and i i wouldn't change it for the world because i've learned so that's many right. things along the way and i love it and that's the thing i think whichever whatever you decide to do if it's a labor of love that just pushes you through and it makes you just say, it's okay, I can handle it. Like that, <laughs> so, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you mine. Okay, uh, show, me, I, show me, I only have uh, my one, oh, where'd it go? Where is it? Uh, let me see if I can find my screen. Okay, can you tell me if you're looking? If you yep, see, I see it. See my, okay. Uh, so this is actually, so my background, um, when, do you actually see me on screen too or no, just this? Yeah, I can see you on the screen as well. Oh, okay. So but can you, um, uh, what is it called? Can you put it on a view keynote? Oh, yeah. Maybe? I yeah, don't know. Let me, so it, yeah, slide only. Yeah. How's that? Do you see that? But I see the side of your screen. For oh, some I don't know. Okay. Let me see. Let me see if I can view here. What if I play it? Okay. How's that? Okay, that's better. Okay, good. Okay, so uh, my background is my Airbnb. So this was my renovation. And I, I have, you know, other pictures of renos. I have other pictures of staging too that I've done with, with my clients. But I just wanted to show you this because this was pretty much the, the this was the latest, most um, uh, extensive reno that I've done. And this was for my own property. And why I did it was not to resell, but to uh, have it livable for people to come and stay. And even, you know, when we stayed, I said, there's no way. I actually brought friends uh, the first season that I, that I had it before mm -hmm. all the renos. And uh, this was actually when, this is before, um, like when we were buying, when, when I bought the, pr the property, this is the previous people that were living there. So as you can tell, this was a family of four that was living in the house. I don't know quite comfortably or not comfortably, but um, the one thing that uh, I have to say is this house, like when you, when, when I walk through it, it's absolutely the bones of the house, mm -hmm. the layout of the house, the bones, whatever I could salvage from the house, I did. So welcome to my Airbnb. <laughs> so this was the before huge bathroom, huge. Yeah, that's as big. You can see, yeah, as you can see, the tiles were already starting to lift up. Mm -hmm. There was even more layer of tile underneath. Uh, I had to take it right down to the studs. So this was the during. And as you can see, the 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 structure of the house. This is very old construction. Mm -hmm. So there was, and the beams, like, I don't know if you can see that little picture mm -hmm. on the beams, they're huge. There are these giant beams and even upstairs, uh, they were 
you know, the, the, the wood still had the bark on it. So this house was built in 1886. I don't know if I'd ever buy a house that old again, but I learned a lot. This house taught me a lot. So the other thing too, when you take when you take things, um, you know, houses down to the studs, mm -hmm. you might have big surprises. So luckily, oh, yeah. <laughs> all the, yeah, luckily all the uh, wiring was done. Up, it was upgraded at some point. This is also I don't have a good picture of the after, but I actually uh, paid my contractor to build. This is a sink cabinet mm -hmm. because nice. the the house I couldn't find any open cabinetry for a sink, so I had him build it. It's just out of regular two by fours and I stained it. Mm -hmm. Why I did that is because the plumbing, it gets so cold in the winter. When you expose the plumbing, you keep it exposed and you don't have it within a cabinet. It's actually better for the plumbing and you won't have freezing problems. Mm -hmm. So I just want to show you that this is the after. So we moved right. this in this case, we did move the toilet around and the shower. So we flipped it from where the shower was. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. So this yep. was the sink. And we actually put the sink, or sorry, this is the bathtub. We put the sink in its place mm -hmm. and we moved the shower and the, no bathtubs anymore, only showers in here. Um, and that's moved to the other wall. I had to take a little bit of space for the plumbing. So you can see in the corner, um, mm -hmm. there is a stack and that's for upstairs. So you have to, if you don't know this information, um, you really should hire a contractor that can, that can walk you through where the plumbing needs to go, what kind of stacks, what kind of vents. It's quite a big extensive renovation, but I'm very, very happy with it. Um, this is the living room. As you can see, maybe you can't tell from the picture, but that's actually baseboard as crown molding. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, I, it drove me crazy. I had to rip it out. So of course what happens, <laughs> rip it out and there was a gap about an, an inch gap behind that that baseboard molding. So we had, to, you know, I had to get a contractor who knew how to do proper base, not baseboard, but proper oh, crown molding. Oh. And it looks like a million bucks now. Wow. Again, uh, sorry. Uh, even though somebody might really like that blue color, I'm like, nope, I want to neutralize it. Totally neutral. Painted the doors white. Everything is white. I kept the floor. Nice. Believe it or not, people are so impressed with it. But guess what? That's not flooring. That's actually wainscoting for the walls. It's why they did, <laughs> why they put it on the floor. I have no idea. The grooves are crazy deep, but guess what? It's a cottage. I left it. And because of budget, I left it. So really basically all I did in this room was paint it and uh, do the crown and new furniture. Yeah. And that's it. So yeah. that's that room. That's pretty easy. Uh, this was a, another nightmare, which I thought I could just renovate this bathroom in the center between the toilet and the sink. It was a stack for the downstairs uh, stove, uh, wood stove. I thought I could just renovate it. But after the plumber came in for something else, he said, I think he called me girl. He said, girl, you got a lot of problems. <laughs> And there's no way the whoever did this reno because obviously it's not original to this house. Yeah. When a house is built in the 1800s, there was no plumbing. I can guarantee you. There yeah, was yeah. No. So somebody added this later on. I don't know when. I think it was sometime in the 80s because of, I'll show you the next picture. But we had to, what I decided was to get rid of that stack, put it or the the um the vent for the stove, I put it on the outside of the house. Why would I take precious real estate on the inside of the house? So took that out. This cabinet is very funny because it looks like it's kind of granite countertop. Looks you like it, yeah. Yeah, so it was actually um, um, just a piece of wood wrapped with, you know, that Mac tack stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was pretty impressive, but it all came down in like two seconds. It almost oh, fell yeah. down on me, so <laughs> it was all gone. And the toilet, do you see that, uh, that lip that was raised? Yeah, yeah. What's that? When you see that, wrong. It's wrong. It's just like run away from it. I should have run away from this bathroom, but instead... Oh, this was in the wall. So this, I really like this because that wallpaper, the blue wallpaper <laughs> wow. was the first layer after layers and layers and layers of newspaper and magazine or not mag. Well, this is magazines. Yeah. But uh, newspaper and then wallpaper and then more newspaper and wallpaper because that's what they did to insulate 
years ago. Wow. And if they didn't have money, newspapers were the cheapest thing to insulate your house with. But this wallpaper was the very first absolutely gorgeous wallpaper. So I actually have it framed now. That piece was very, very, it was a, a big deal for me. Um, and of course we found pennies and we found um, uh, spoons and all sorts of crazy stuff. Wow. So this is the during. So you can see me way in the back. Oh my God, like a nightmare. There is the stack that I was talking about for the stove downstairs. Mm -hmm. Fully insulated. So we ripped everything out. Uh, there's a beautiful plaster lath as well. Um, really got right down to the floor, took all of the tile, took all that flooring down, right down to the to old flooring. The contractor came in, rebuilt everything, insulated. This is actually my favorite room because it's so well insulated now mm -hmm. and just redid the whole thing. So this is what it looks like now. Mm -hmm. And so that stack is gone. It's on the outside. So then the other side of the house, which was this side, was a bedroom so we actually made that side into the bathroom because uh, of the right what? it you know come on the bathroom if you have any plumbing go right above the, the first floor bathroom yeah it does, makes perfect sense i don't know why they didn't do that originally but we did it so that so that's what we did we also changed the windows out because of insulating like it was just awful but i didn't touch the walls in this room believe it or not we built walls but that original that angle wall is the original it's just paint patched and paint new baseboards the floor stayed that's the old floor mm -hmm. too. Nice. Tell. same yeah. floor just a pine very simple floor but that corner all the walls stayed so all we did was we added the toilet and the the plumbing obviously underneath and it's a it's a functioning bathroom now so you know unlike the other one gravity people gravity is so important with bathrooms <laughs> <laughs> so again really simple little um you know not anything fancy we just put a little uh pedestal sink it's um, functional and, yeah and that's functional and actually my mom she's like hey do you need a sink here take this okay so it was actually nice. one of the only free things that we got <laughs> donated to us um also habitat restore is fantastic when you do reno that's what she's gonna say Oh my gosh. Yeah. So actually in the downstairs bathroom, the, I don't have a picture of it, but I got a granite counter, yep. with the sink and the tap. I think it was $70 and wow. that's Canadian. So I, yeah. I lucked out there. Uh, okay. So this is one of my favorite rooms. This was the master. Actually, one of the reasons why I bought this house, uh, because this ba bedroom is actually bigger than my house bedroom. I, I believe I, I don't, I'm not sure if it's exactly it bigger, big. but it's huge. It's huge. So that's a queen size bed. Um, there's a dresser, there's a chair, obviously, and a TV. Um, but yes, this room was one of the huge selling features for me. A lot of patching on the ceiling though, because it is an older house, right? Mm -hmm. The flooring I believe was original. Uh, it's really in rough shape, but I loved it. So I kept it. Um, but what I'm showing you is the back wall that I did of the re I'll, I'll, I'll show you about, I'll, I'll explain this wood later. So this is reclaimed wood, but I'll show you from where. It's very interesting. Um, that uh, wall took me like five minutes to do. It is one of the features people talk about now. Um, so there is the back wall there. I don't have a headboard that acts as a headboard, but this is the same room. So really cosmetic, not a lot of changes. I did add, so the sconces, I didn't even add any electrical, you know, they're just plug-in lamps, but where they're hanging is just makes a huge difference. So it's very functional too. Mm -hmm. um, and new curtains, new bedding, obviously it's my, you know, bedding and furniture and stuff, but really nice. people love this room. Uh, again, paint, 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 best friend. Uh, so this is, I call it the, the double twin room because now instead of this room, again, lots of painting, lots of patching, new light fixture, this is what it looks like. Put wow. two beds in, so when people come and stay, two kids can share the room, it's big mm -hmm. enough, there is a dresser in it. No closet though, so that's the only thing about this room. Um, but who cares? You know, but it's, it's very functional for kids? Yeah, and it's a and b nobody, yeah. nobody needs a closet, right? So, Ooh. guess where Ooh. that wood came from? Mm -hmm. Oh, you took the, um, 
the doors. The doors? Oh, wow. Some guy, and it wasn't the people that I bought it from. This is actually the realtor uh, uh, photo from the listing. Mm -hmm. um, I fell in love with this kitchen because of the sheer size. It is huge. It is 30 okay. feet yeah. by 15. So wide wow. 15, 30 long. Um, you can have a party in that room alone. So <laughs> this was when I walked in, I'm like, oh my God, this is incredible. Uh, this kitchen, the cabinets were plywood and the doors were handmade out of whatever somebody put together this barn board. I don't even know where they got it from, but it was actually, when I say it was reclaimed, it wasn't reclaimed by me. It was reclaimed by them put into the kitchen and then reclaimed by me. <laughs> and I, I put a little paint, a little bit of color on it. So I just want to go back. So there's, there's that, that, that wood. Nice. Very what nice, do you do nice. with the little strips of wood? You make it back a headboard with it. <laughs> and uh, people have taken pictures of it and said, oh my God, this is great. So they- Show really me the cool. after, show me the after. Okay, so this is the during. I'm also spray painting a, cat, uh, a dresser on the floor there. Mm -hmm. But look at even just by painting it white and taking out those cabinets, just already it makes a huge difference. And this is me uh, putting the floor down. My husband and I, we, we did the floor and almost killed us, but we got it done. And it's vinyl. Vinyl flooring is incredible. I love vinyl flooring. It wasn't hard to lay it, but it was just time consuming. Because yeah, it's very time consuming. Right. So nice. here's the So you can see as my background, this after white cabinets, white granite, or sorry, it's a, it's a quartz, huge kitchen. People, when they walk into this space nice. are like, I, I have people staying at the, you know, when they, when they first come into the space, they text me or they send me a message right away. And they say, I, they can't believe that it's so close to what the photos on Airbnb are. Mm -hmm. And they're so impressed. Like, that's what I, like when you talked about vision, this is what I really had the vision for was to have this space where people could come in that counter. So if you see on the left of the picture, that is all cabinet and just no upper cabinets. I don't need it, but that counter right there, I believe is 14 feet, just that cabinet, alone, maybe, maybe 13 feet, something like that. But if you imagine, so what I would imagine is having my own family or having not that I want to rent it as a party place, but if somebody wants to have, so I can sit, I can sleep, I think six or seven people mm -hmm. if they share rooms and stuff. So to have this open concept, big kitchen where people can lay out a buffet and take the food off the counter or take the food off the, off the Island even, and still have space to sit even inside to sit yeah. and eat. So you can sit six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 people in the kitchen. I don't want a party. <laughs> but <laughs> that was my vision. If I ever have to resell this property, it's beautiful, too. It's beautiful the, the way it is. If to live in or to be right. in an Airbnb, perfect. Right. So, and we always talk about that, too. When it comes to uh, doing any kind of investing, you always have to have a plan B, I, I, I feel. Absolutely, I feel absolutely. Different. Because so you I, never know if the laws are going to change and you're not going to be able to do continue to right. do Airbnb. Exactly. You so you right. want to make sure that it's something that you know that you're going to be selling. Um, right. If I had to do minimum repairs in order to make it uh, a flip, right? Right. Or even if it's rentable, like, is this house rentable? Would I want to live here myself? Yeah. Which I know that's not always an indication of, you know, I, I might be a little more picky to live in a certain place, but I would absolutely live in this house myself too. Yeah. Um, you want to see my next project? Very quickly. Okay. We are out of time now. Okay. So this is my, the love of my life. This is my <laughs> barn. So this is the now. This is what it looks like now. And this is what I want it to look like. Okay. <laughs> so wish me luck. That's okay. all I Okay. Well, you got to invite me when that it looks like that. So Absolutely. Yeah. No. And that's the thing. I mean, if I can get it close to yeah. that, because that way I can use it, not just for, uh, a, as a barn or a garage, yeah. I actually want it to be usable space, like a studio space or something like that. So, so that's my next thing. It's going to take me a couple of years to get there. I hope. Okay. Yeah. I hope if, you know, things continue on the way it was, it was a great season this year. Thank you everybody for renting the place. 
but uh, you know, that's my next project. I need a little bit more money to, to help me with my barn. Maybe I should start a, a fund, a go Yeah, fund. no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> go fund my barn, help me well, fix my barn. Uh, next month, I'm, I'm gonna have some pictures of my next project, so you can see the before. Okay. And uh, I'll do Jeez. a walk around, Jeez. and it's just, you need some of the stuff that we do. It's, it's very exciting. But just that has a final remark. If you decide to become a real estate investor, if that's something that piques your interest, make sure that you develop the vision and the eyes of a real estate investor. Because what you've seen before, like when I walk into these places, I don't see the mess, I don't see the walls, I just see the bones. What can I do with this? What is it going to look like? So that is very, very important to start to develop that vision um, because that will make you or break you because you're going to be able to buy things for cheaper that look like what we show you and that you can change it for very easily. Cleaning up, painting, it's just so cheap to do, right? Right. Right. And that's the thing too, that, you know, when, when we say that we're here for you, like this is something that when you walk through with me in, in, in the GTA, if you walk through a house with me, I have that vision in my head. And if I can communicate that with you to say, listen, you know, this kitchen reno might be a $10,000 reno. Mm -hmm. So it's something that you can keep in mind if, and I'm sure Araceli in the yeah. state too, you can see that vision too, to say, you know, roughly speaking, and from our past experience, this rental will cost you X number of dollars. So when, when it comes to actually thinking, okay, I'm buying it for a certain amount of money, I can renovate it, but yes. I still have that safety net of saying, okay, if I have to sell it at mm -hmm. the end of the reno, will I make my money back or will it actually, you know, will it break even, just break even? Yeah. So those are questions that pretty accurately when you hire either one of us, we can pretty accurately tell you how much it's going to cost exactly. for them. So and always remember, it. yeah, always remember what's the strategy. If you're going to live in the house, you know, what is it that you want, but also make sure that you have something that if you need to sell it, it's easily resellable. Right. Um, and don't overspend. That's yeah. the hardest thing, right? That's oh, absolutely. Cause we all want this and that and the other, and there's so many uh, inexpensive things that you can do. Uh, that will transform a room. Uh, yeah, so and you know what? Araceli and I are very uh, happy to share those things. Like we mentioned Habitat Restore. I just yeah. bought this fantastic, if you follow me on Instagram, Colette Rabba uh, on Instagram, uh, I just did a really funny video. I don't know if you saw that about my new toilet seat. Oh my God, it's so fancy. It. it has a light. <laughs> It's like a nightlight. It's very romantic. Okay. So my yeah. video is pretty funny on it. So you need you some romance when you go to the washroom. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so, that's not where I want to be romantic. <laughs> <laughs> on the toilet? No, thank you. <laughs> okay, so this ends up our episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do have any questions about any of the pictures that you saw, uh, this is just kind of like a really a few pictures. I have a million of them uh, yeah. showing you many different things, but I think that kitchens, bathrooms for me are the biggest uh, change oh. that I can see. Right. Uh, Makes the biggest uh, impact too on a house. Also as well. So yeah. anything that you have, please let us know. And, uh, and give us a thumbs up. Yeah. And we will see you next week. We'll show you some more pictures soon. Thanks okay. everybody. Have, have a great, great day. day. Bye. Bye.